Graduate assistant Lexi Guillory explains how prevalent the exhibit is to LSU students and just how similar some of our delicacies we enjoy today were popularized in New Orleans. Italians are going to hit home the most just because of what they brought. They brought in a huge um, produce population. By the 1920s, they were running 40% of the produce in New Orleans. They were making it big. And they also brought in coffee and little uh, like bakeries and ice cream parlors. They really specialized in that and they popularized it in Louisiana. Judith Stahl points out some of the unique practices. One thing she mentions that is legal and hasn't changed is the love for Mardi Gras. The New Orleans streets have been booming with crowds for years. They did the Mardi Gras uh, at the turn of the century and of course those were the photographs at the front of the gallery that showed that they had Mardi Gras parades, uh, just like we have Mardi Gras parades today. They used horses rather than trucks. Parades went down the uh, boulevard and you can see the crowds eagerly waiting for the beads. Here in this art exhibit, LSU students are not only able to get a slice of New Orleans through the pictures, they're also able to interact with some of the pieces here in the exhibit, such as this coffee grinder used back in the day. Your representative for the art gallery speaks on using an actual coffee grinder from this time. To interact with the machines that they would have used back then, and by grinding up this coffee and being able to take it home, it gives a sense of what the Italians contributed back at the turn of the 20th century. The LSU art exhibit is a chance for students to become in tune with their culture and have a better understanding of their ancestry, as Guillory states. I would really like students to see, again, what daily life was like, the struggles, how things have changed, what things have stayed the same, the tried and true methods. Um, I mean, it's just important for them to know where they came from and what the state grew from a hundred years ago. Get a slice into not only New Orleans, but Louisiana as a whole. The exhibit is open to the public until May 19th. Benet Vincent, MassCom 3102.